Welcome to the Plato Lounge, where we just chill. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That would be an unprecedented offer if I believed it was legitimate, which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go, but they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big warships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change, and a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. It's so nice to hear friends say good things about me in their secret spy reports. He does. But they aren't really secret, are they? Look, Gat. Relax. Unlike our superiors, I know how it works out here. We're in this together. The Devinter Imperium is bad enough without the influence of this venatory cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kion. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Devinter. I was eight. The Kion isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. Arguing about the war between your two nations isn't going to help anyone right now. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Saharan and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. 
I've never liked covering a dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. I don't know. Something feels rotten in Denmark here. It's like, this dude is so quick to turn down all of our options. It's like, if we sent our main forces, he's like, oh, they would spot your main forces. I'm like, dude, you don't know anything about our main forces. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your Chargers the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kyun for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. All right, man. You guys need to kill them a little you bit slower. You must wish you were back in Tevinter, Mage. No soldiers to guard you here. No slaves to wait on you. It's the lack of fashion that really strikes fear into my heart. You know nothing of fear. And do you intend to teach me? No. You serve the Inquisition and the Ben Hasrath wish an alliance. For now, that is enough. this place we're clear Gat. right signaling the dreadnought chargers already sent theirs up see them down there i knew you gave them the easier job there's the dreadnought that brings back memories <laughs> nice one. Crap.
They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Damn, he's putting it on there pretty thick. Almost like this whole thing was a big setup. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it is. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bo, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. Come on, let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. <laughs> so much for that. You all right, Bull? Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bull. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. Nice work taking down those Venatori. Always easy with the Chief watching our backs, Your Worship. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. We have to keep the charges alive so that we keep Iron Bull's heart, who he is as a person, alive. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Briana. The Duchess. And Carissa. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry. You're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? And a total ass too. I thought Gaspard was tired of that game, but he settled in real easy. Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Who's putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? 
Job done. Time to get what we're owed. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachel. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Okay. What the hell have we gotten into now? Whoa, oh, oh, hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. This ambush was your doing. Or am I remembering that wrong? Granted, it wasn't a direct attack. But the first move was hers. And, apparently, yours. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. You're of noble birth, and as Inquisitor, you are more than a peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Arse biscuit. <sighs> Quite. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. You were up to something in Vichelle, Harmond. What was it? If you mean bettering my wealth and position, I'm always seeking that. By getting people hurt? <sighs> Lady Shell Morveau and I were jockeying for the land south of Vershell. To claim land, you must populate it. My people encouraged hers to leave. Her people answered in kind, etc. Really, it was all terribly standard displacement until your troops seemed to change the balance. Well played. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Uh, now, what was the point of that? Mother, puss bucket, friggin' bastard, shite bag, piss face. Eat it, you lop eared son of an arse nut, rot, Sarah, of piece of. Sarah! Uh, what? He's done. You're done. Relax. It's over, he said. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Hey, you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stomp the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Risky. But keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. I don't want this to get in the way of you staying. I like having you here. I could see that, Lady Trevelyan. I could. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. 